hi in this video we will see how to create multiple ports in jamp like uh, 8091 8090 8081 8082 or some or something else uh, this is actually making virtual host uh, on jamp um, uh, in this tutorial we will show uh, by making virtual host how we can um, handle multiple websites in a single ip just in a single IP uh, using different ports we can handle different websites so first uh, this is a very easy uh, we just have to do three steps um, we have to change uh, three files one is httpd.conf second is httpdvhost.conf and third one is host so just wait and see uh, at first you can see that I have only the default ports 80 and 443 80 is for internet and 443 is for HTTP and 443 is for HTTPS now we want to uh, uh, for example we want to create a new port 8090 for another website in the same IP okay let's start first of all we have to open apache httpd.conf this file after opening this press ctrl f for search that means for find uh, you can type listen listen 80 here you have to insert a new port that you want to create in this example i am as i am wanting to create 8090 so i just have to add listen 8090 here and just save this save okay this one is done and the second task is to change the http vhost.conf please check uh, where i am going first of all go to the uh, windows explorer that means your computer uh, in your drive in, in where jump is installed i have used in c drive so i go to jump folder it may be for your case it may be another directory ok no problem jump then go to apache apache then go to conf configuration folder next extra extra and now you can see httpdvhost.conf ok you can open it with any text editor now first of all you have to find the name virtual host 80 you can see here is a hash this hash means this is uh, this will be skipped this is this will be not confirmed so you just remove the hash and just copy just copy this portion and paste okay now we have this one and this one okay um, this one is for your new website so for this uh, 8090 and this one is for 80 the default default website if you use only one uh, if you use only this and then the default website you will be lost so you have to keep two options first of all let's remove the hashes 
here hash means this lines are commented that means this line would not be will not be executed so we do not need these lines we only need document root and server name so remove other lines also remove hash from here also from here So here will be your document root folder. If I uh, here for new website, it may be for example new site. Okay, and for default website, here it may be default website. Server name. For eight zero nine zero, let's uh, it AGM LC local host eight zero nine zero, or you can uh, you can set another something like www dot some name dot com. I'm using just local as and uh, in the default server name will be just localized okay <coughs> so we just have one more task pending directly Adding the directory here, this directory. Hmm, okay, just close this tag directory and have type require all granted okay done and just copy these three lines and paste here and just change the folder name sorry uh, okay it's done so we have created 8090 8090 here new site and here 80 default port default website localized okay okay now just save it save okay now we have one more task to do that is changing the windows default post for this you have to go to in the uh, computer now local disk C C drive it then Windows folder now search for system 32 here is the system 32 now search for drivers drivers yes this one okay enter now search for etc etc in this folder okay now you can see hosts we have to change this host file right click on it and open mm, you can open it with any text editor it may be notepad or any other okay here yeah you have just have to copy this line and paste at the end of this file and here 
just for new website that you have you want to set it to an engine port yes and just add this line all is done now save this save okay then we just need to restart you still you can see only ports 80 and 443 now just we have to stop the apache server and start again and you can see 80443 and 8090 port so 8090 port is already uh, is created okay but one more thing is that uh, we do not have the folders default and new site in the server so we have to create these folders also now go to the jump st docs now create here two website two folder one is default and another is new site okay in the default page in the default folder uh, create a new HTML file okay, just type some basic HTML codes Uh, we are making uh, the HTML page just for checking that the uh, default website and new website are the two different websites working on the same server by using different ports. So just text, uh, write some text. Uh, this is is your default. Sorry, your uh, default website okay now save it and copy this file and go to the previous folder and go to the new website new site new site now paste that folder and edit it again edit and just we just need to change the text that is this is your new website okay uh, if you go to the internet browser Please wait a while. My computer is slow. Okay. Now opening uh, Google Chrome. Okay. Now if we type local host, you can see the default website.
so you can see the default website this is your default now if we create a new tab and if we type localhost 8090 you can see the new site here you can see this is your new website okay everything is done by this tutorial i think you can easily create multiple ports uh, you can um, use same um, tasks to do 8090 or anything port you can create and you can handle multiple websites in different ports or in a single ip okay thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe subscribe to the channel thank you